Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Well, we have read through St. Mark's Gospel, and now we can return to our normal lectionary readings. Today's Gospel lesson is from St. Luke, chapter 19, verses 11 through 28, and it is the parable of the pounds. In St. Matthew's Gospel, we refer to this parable as the parable of the talents. St. Mark 25, 14 through 30. And it is only mentioned briefly in St. Mark's Gospel in chapter 13, verse 34. Jesus uses this parable to teach his disciples that the kingdom of God was not immediately upon them as they thought. The parable teaches that Jesus will be absent for a while before he returns to judge his enemies and settle accounts with his servants, and that his disciples must be diligently at work until that time. How long he will be away, we do not know. Remember that neither the angels in heaven nor the Son of Man knows when that time will be. Only the Father knows. Now let's read today's Gospel lesson from St. Luke, chapter 19, verses 11 through 28. As they heard these things, he proceeded to tell a parable, because he was near to Jerusalem, and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. He said, therefore, a noble man went into a far country to receive a kingdom, and then returned. Calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten pounds, and said to them, Trade with these till I come. But his citizens hated him, and sent an embassy after him, saying, We do not want this man to reign over us. When he returned, having received the kingdom, he commanded these servants, to whom he had given the money, to be called to him, that he might know what they had gained by trading. The first came before him, saying, Lord, your pound has made ten pounds more. And he said to him, Well done, good servant. Because you have been faithful in a very little, you shall have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, your pound has made five pounds. And he said to him, And you are to be over five cities. Then another came, saying, Lord, here is your pound, which I kept laid away in a napkin. For I was afraid of you, because you are a severe man. You take up what you did not lay down, and reap what you did not sow. And he said to him, I will condemn you out of your own mouth, you wicked servant. You knew that I was a severe man, taking up what I did not lay down, and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money into the bank, and at my coming I should have collected it with interest? And he said to those who stood by, Take the pound from him, and give it to him who has ten pounds. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten pounds. I tell you, that to every one who has will more be given. But from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for these en- enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slay them before me. And when he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto God.